Hi, John with Orange Blade Consultants. Today we're going to look at the ability to do concrete estimation using Bluebeam PDF Review. So what you're about to see can be accomplished using any version of Bluebeam Review, um, and I'm, I, I mean standard, CAD, or extreme. What we've done is set up a tool chest here uh, for flooring. We also have one for rebar uh, and concrete. So we're going to look at the concrete tool that we've set up. So if I click the concrete tool, and I want to measure a building pad. I can do that. So it, it, it's giving us 263 square foot. But how does that translate into concrete that has a depth? You'll see down in our markup list here that it shows concrete measuring out at 263 square foot. Um, I have set up a four inch pad and that gives us uh, just over two and a half uh, yards of concrete and it applies our cost. So we can continue here by measuring the other building pads and you'll see that it will keep adding on to our markup list or our estimation. So that's identical. It's also 263 square foot. Uh, but you'll see that it keeps a running total. First pad, the second pad, and then the total here. Uh, but if, if we're not dealing with a four inch pad, I can double click here and say this particular building is going to be an 8 inch pad. So watch what happens when I change it from 4 to 8 inches. The uh, number of yards changes and so does my cost. So I can continue uh, marking up and measuring and associating the appropriate uh, uh, depth of concrete. But when I'm finished what I can do is click my summary button and click PDF summary. So what this does is give us a uh, uh, somewhat of a report that's appended to our plan set and we're looking at it right now so those two pads that I just measured are showing up here it shows us the total area that we've measured the total yards that we've measured and our total cost and if I want to know where exactly this particular markup or measurement or, or estimation is I can just click it and it takes us right to it. So that comes in handy if we're dealing with a multi-page PDF. So if this was 50 or 100 pages worth of uh, measurements and estimating, I don't have to go looking for that particular markup or that measurement. I can just click it in my summary and it takes it right to us. So I'll leave you with uh, how we incorporate the depths and the cost. So if I hover here and it says manage columns, and go to the second tab which is custom columns a, a little bit of math that I incorporated into uh, the, the concrete measurements so concrete depth if I double click on that it'll show me all of the depths okay and the uh, multiplier okay so um, four inches six inches all the way up to uh, 12 inch pads okay and then if I click cubic yards this is where the math happens um, so this formula gives me the cubic yards and I've padded it by 5%. Okay, so I can remove this if I want an exact measurement uh, or if you want to pad it by a certain percentage, uh, you can incorporate that here. So that 1.05 gives me a 5% pad um, on my measurements and then the cost. And this is something that may change often for you. If I click concrete cost, it takes my cubic yards times my cost. And if I realize that $26.77 is no longer accurate. Our, our cost has gone up to uh, $28.89. I'll click OK and click OK and you'll see that my cost down here updated for me. So it's really easy to um, uh, keep a, a constantly changing concrete cost updated in Bluebeam Review.